Support for this podcast comes from the patrons at patreon.com slash FML FPL. Melbourne. It's Walsh. It's the Kev Pod, baby. It's the Walsh Buzzing Pod. <laughs> Did you see? So fucking funny, man. Pep just blowing him kisses from the sideline. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Well, but you'll I see can it in it. You'll see it in gift form via Cole uh, for the thumbnail of this episode because I mean he like was. He, um, yeah, yeah, he was unplayable. It, it's got to be Kev. It's got to be Pep and Walsh both blowing Kevin kisses. Like that's the only thing to do here. <laughs> yeah, you know what are you gonna do here? Kev he caps. Pops, he pops up with a huge, huge fucking haul, and it works out for me. You have such a say? big what fan base. You you you're, you're, <laughs> you have so many fans around the world. You don't even know because you don't know what social media is. But yeah. Everyone for me. is so psyched. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is fucking Walsh, like big balls. Walsh's uh, balls are back. Like, let's fucking go. And you know, I was thinking also, it's like, I don't know if it was last year postmortem or two years postmortem, or I was kind of looking at like first half ish to versus second half ish of the season. And I was like, first half, when we went against the chalk cap, we were really, really bad. We were hitting like a one in eight or something uh, ahead of the chalk cap. And second half, we were really good. Like things yeah. kind of settle. We know who's good. We know we know the matchups we like and don't like. Yeah. And look at you. Yeah. Flying. Living proof of Absolutely it. Absolutely flying. Thank you for all the well wishes to whomever sent them in that <laughs> I didn't receive. Alon, if I can, you know, he, this is plenty enough messenger oh, pigeoning yeah. of them oh, over. Yeah. But, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just obviously I'm just on sheer which ball am I talking to? You know, this was the right <laughs> the right one on this that's one. What I, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, you just play. It's fun. It's a fucking disaster. Roll of the dice mess generally, and you know yeah. sometimes you roll snake eyes and sometimes you roll whatever the good thing and craps is to roll when it's your turn. Seven, or yeah. eleven, maybe. I think depends. Could be anything. Depends, depends if they're betting you're... against you or with you, but that would depends be where your vibes. chips are on the table. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, but um, and then and then my wrong ball was me sitting here with Gab and White on the bench uh, and Ruben and Gavard in my lineup. Just a little minus ten there for me. I but, hated you know. that. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? We'll get to our teams before we do our teams. I want to do the cup tiebreaker. I mean, you're obviously through in the cup, Cap Kev, even though. Barrick made it a little bit close. <laughs> did he? What did he yeah. get? I well, because he had Kai. He, he, you only beat him by six points. So he had okay. Kai and he had a double Arsenal defender and like some other random. He had like an Emerson and Neto. And he, didn't act, he actually played as Arsenal players. Yes. They were in yeah. the lineup. Big yeah. difference. Big, <laughs> big advantage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, got it. Got it. But uh, yeah, so there's one year. I should have bench cup. boosted this week. Fuck. Holy man. shit! Your bench is five, five, six, four. My god. I wish that happened last week when my guys weren't playing. But right. how the cookie crumbles. All right, right. So what do we got? We have one tie. One tie break. For those who don't know what we're doing, when there's a when there's a tie in the knockout rounds of the cup, we just make a decision based on their team names of who which we, like we prefer. More. Yeah, which is just straight up. Simple. Science, we just keep it scientific. really simple. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Very scientific. Um, so one is Sob on my sly. Spelled Sob like Soba Sly. Don't so like, like that. All right. What's yeah. the next one? Yeah. And the other one is Coach Novensky, which looks like something to do with this person's name. Based on what I can see. Mm. Mm. And Mike, Mike with the shout out in, in our Discord, he said, "Why don't you just use the kits as a tiebreaker in the cup when the team names are similar quality?" Oh, see, I'm I'm off the kit. Like, I don't well, even do one. I don't yeah, do I was it. about to say neither of these people even did one. So Good. you know, I like what, that. What do they're, we do? They're there? both checkbox for both of them, equally cross canceling each other out. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to make of these. I don't like either of them. Can we really eliminate like both of them and put you in their place? I'm down. <laughs> Maybe we just ban hammer. Just fucking <laughs> get in there. 
I don't like the sobo sly like so, well, I sexual liked, in the innuendo y like it doesn't even work. It's just like it suck doesn't my work. Dick. It's it doesn't like, not funny. It doesn't it's just rhyme bad. with slob on my knob, but I am a big fan of slob on my knob by three six mafia. So like I like where I like where their I like their taste, but I don't like their name their interpretation of it with the name. Mm. Coach Novensky, I mean this person's name on FBL is Nariman Navai. Na, na, N a n a v a e e, they're not from not from here, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so do we want to be like xenophobic here? Are we good? They're with it? Swedish. We, I don't know. Scan, I wish, do we need more scandos? I would have thought that was like a Russian or yeah something like that. I wish we could tell if they're actually a coach. Like oh, I would love it if they're just like they coach their kids' team in middle school or something. I'm like yeah. That's your fucking name. I like it. Or if they have actual coaching badges. Yes. Also would love that. But I can't I can't no, go for the no Soba Sly one. I think it's just Fine. awful. I like Fine. the coach one more. I think these Fine. are both horrendous names. Both terrible names. Both terrible names. If you're gonna but... make a slob on my knob, it's gotta it's gotta rhyme, right? It's gotta be like a slab riff. Slab head. Slab on my bob or something. Like if that was his I, name. Yeah. Easy win. <laughs> Easy Slap one. Slap on my bob, but then it's, it's just... Is yeah, I, I mean, some I don't shit. know. I don't know what it is, but soap on my slide. If it was something know. else, it could have won. <laughs> Let's put it yes, that way. Let's put it that way. Okay, <laughs> Coach Novensky, good job by you. All right. Your win. Okay, moving on. So let me let me pull up your fucking master class here. Oh, whoops, I just closed I'm, all my, my, my pages. throat and my voice, I'm coming off it. It's a little bit not typical, just uh, apologies. That's fine. No, I, I think yeah. we can just chalk that up to you waking up late and watching the Kevin highlights. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm That's what I'm chalking up to. Yeah, so 78. Look at you. Saves and gets a 78. Flying. You passed me. You're beating me by one point now. Suck my dick. Yeah, How's that so, for team so, name? so by my fucking side. <laughs> I should report so by my side. We should report everyone who loses. <laughs> Get fucked, dude. <laughs> it made me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone did pretty good. The eight hey, Nari coming off a few minutes before the clean was the thing that happened. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's At least just, got the again, playing... He's not even playing wing. He's just playing striker. I mean, his yeah. role in the team and his positioning was, was so as continues to be out of control. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll see if he makes it this week. And probably not. Um, yeah, you know, everyone did the things. Just you know, benched all the cleans. And I wish you asked fine. me so badly. I mean, about I feel what? so strongly about the Arsenal guys. Like I just feel oh, yeah. so strongly about how much better their defense is than everyone in the league. Yeah. I I think they're fully never bench territory. Like they yeah. fucking well, dominate everyone. They're the best team in the league. They're, they're really not going to like my uh, lineup decision this week. Oh I my guess, god! Then. Who are they playing? <laughs> Wait, who's each team? They're playing? not playing Luton know. at home. I'll tell you that much. God. So yeah. yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I I Villa. likely will get yeah. one for the eight Nori spot. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm not because gonna you use a transfer play. there. So yeah, yeah. But uh, jeez, yeah. Okay. Fine. What about you over there? How'd you do? Um, I don't remember. Oh yeah, sixty six, not bad. Also saved, so I'll take a little green arrow yeah. on a save. Happy about that. Oh, yeah, and Mo and Darwin get the exact same points. Classic. Yep. yep, yep. But you know, we, you, Captain Kev, I still got some points over most people. I, maybe not most, but a lot of people are capped on Palmer. Um, so son my cap of Holland, yeah. yeah, son and Palmer. So I, yeah, I got a little points. bit there. Got a little yeah, bit there. You take that. You take that. It just pen, pens. I, Every week, Pens are man. good. Every week. Tempted to get rid of Sokka, pen. Mo was terrible, pen. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Holland could have fucking triple returned in open play, but at least he got one. And and two yeah. bones because he doesn't do anything. So we take those. Yeah, you, know. you take that. Um, But yeah, good, good spot. I still need to figure out when I'm going to use my chips. You have a lot of them left. I mean, my my gut not, right now. Gonna I'm themselves. definitely going to be like in your DMs soon this week to figure out my my situation. But I think I'm probably going to use both freeze this week, free hit next week, and then take yep. it from there. And okay. uh, for triple cap, I'm not sure, but I kind of like Palmer in in 35. Um, okay. 
I just think they're really good attacking fixtures, Villa and Spurs, who both just concede so much space and so many goals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I told, I didn't, I don't like that, but. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not very sold on it, but. Yeah. There's still more doubles to be confirmed. So it's kind of hard to speculate like when the 37, when the next doubles get confirmed could make like really good matchups or really bad matchups for the next one. And then I still yeah. have a bench boost, so I don't fucking know what yeah. I'm gonna do. But yeah, um, I could also bench. I could also use my two freeze to just bench boost in 34 pretty easily. Um, so that's another option. But I don't know. I don't want to get into this bullshit. You should have fucking bench boosted this week. <laughs> 16. It's pretty good. What did I get? Yeah, Rags. Rags. The one <laughs> week I need him to pop his little stupid fucking head up, nowhere to be found. <laughs> Deep Rex. last on my bench. <laughs> last on my fucking yeah, bench. Man. Yeah, Neto, man. I mean, he's been still very bad overall since when I wildcarded him in. But I lately he's been showing flashes of why I got him in. <laughs> like yeah, when they the don't saves. clean, yeah. he's getting saves and bonus. When yeah. they do clean, he's auto on bones. It's just he, that's why he's good. But yeah, they've they've been a mess. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what are we what are we well, doing today, man? What do we yeah, got Mug- today on the docket, doggy? Yeah, mug league and shit like that. I mean, it's early. We'll we'll do April next week. Um, okay. Yeah, where should we start? Should we start with my team? Just terrible. Yeah, you know, dropping it's... dropping two points to Man United. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's bummer, dude. The thing with Liverpool, just watching them, you know, from the more big picture is, you know, any game that they don't win feels like an injustice because they look better than their opponent, like other than the City and Arsenal games, like other than four games a year, every game. Every game. I mean, to be fair, I think you would say the exact same about City and Arsenal. And even a team yeah. like Spurs Those, in half the well, games at least. That. No, Come no, on. but I'm saying it's a big drop off, but still, yeah. you know. But yeah, I mean, yeah, those three teams have that. Like, other than those yeah. four games on their schedule, like they yeah. look better than the enemy every game. So when you don't yeah. win, it is you point your fingers at yourselves. You know, I mean, yep. and this was classic case, right? We've seen classic. these types of games from chances. Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, for years, right? It's just they just miss chances. They don't grind it's, it out, you know. The one of the guys on the Anfield Rap review brought up. I think the XG was like, it was like so minuscule difference to the five nil last year. Sure, and it's just like that. Like those chances they created in the first half were probably better than the chances they created in the in the five nil in the first half last year. And sometimes you know Soba Sly and Mo score their huge chances in the first half, and sometimes they don't. Yeah. And usually when a team doesn't, it comes back to bite them and it came back to bite them in b- big time with some fucking worldy. I mean, those goals, yeah. like watching the replay after I, you know, was not pissed off anymore. I mean, those both those Man United goals were absolutely fucking mental. Like, well, I they mean, were the just, first one wasn't really. He just shot because he got dude, the ball from the, under, the wrong try team. Try that a thousand him. times. I think he scores like three. Like, that was still I don't, I don't, on the half volley from 40 yards. Yeah. And it also yeah. was in the corner. I mean, Keller, it to be fair, was outside of the box. Yeah. But if it was a little closer head. to him, he would have saved it and got a red card. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't. Was outside of the yeah, box. Caught it outside of the box. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't. And main, but, I mean, these are the things, right? You can talk about they were worldies, but also don't pass to the wrong team when oh, you're in your course, own fucking half. And then no, don't you... stand off a man in your box for no reason when you don't of have course. to. Like of so, course. And those are the things, right? I mean, I remember, like there are games like City lost that game to Southampton a couple of years ago. Where it's just like, what's going on here? You know what I yeah. mean? These happen. It's just it happens you know, the to every team. It happens to every team. Every, every team does, year. Yeah, if it... If it Soccer worked that the best team always won. City would well. get 120 points a year. Like they would fucking win 99.9% yeah. of games. It's fun. Yeah. It's a good sport to watch because they don't. Yeah. Right. I mean, Arsenal yeah. would not have lost a game this season. They wouldn't have drawn a game this season. They've been so consistently great. But obviously, that's not how soccer works. So, 
Yeah, yeah. You know, fair so, enough. Uh, but I mean, in terms of takeaways for FPL, I don't think there's like none. There are any, right? It's yeah. just their defense is still brittle, and they dominate games, and you know they should win every game and they might not win every game and they should have scored more than two goals and they were really bad and they still scored two goals or yeah. really bad in the in the final in the box or whatever so you know it's still yeah and Mo, their attackers I mean, still look good a lot of people in discord were really <laughs> like i don't know they like someone wronged them with how many chances mo had and he only scored the pen but I mean, we said the exact words last spot. Like, he's just been off it for months. I mean, he's also... There's a lot of factors. And form is some weird made-up bullshit thing. And, you know, usually we kind of just ignore it. But he's barely played this calendar year. I mean, he's he's not playing any games. He's started, like, four games or something like that in months. He's on. He's been fasting. Also, like there's all these things, and he just looks bad. He's not hitting the ball cleanly in any of these games recently, and so it's just like, you know, you can be mad. Of course, you want your guy to score when he gets a million chances, but also, that's kind of what form is in a nutshell, right? It's like if the, he's not like striking the ball cleanly, if he's not getting his shots on target consistently, then like. You know, it it tends to keep going that way until until it doesn't, and that yeah. whenever that happens is uh, completely unpredictable and can happen yeah. mid match. But it's happening right now, currently. Yeah, I mean, I thought he looked fine in terms of the way he played. It was just the final ball, final action was was that was under the same though. That was the, that was yeah. the same in Sheffield United, and that was the same in Brighton. And look, he scored against Man United. He scored against Brighton. Yeah, but. You know, he's just so smart and good. So he's yeah. always going to be in the yeah, right position he, to get good and he chances. And credit bank. Like, I'm, it's just these things. It's like he's, he had a long yeah, life. He just, yeah. I mean, my, I even my, said uh, when he got the pen, I was even like, he hasn't struck a ball cleanly in a fucking month. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. like tempted to give this pen to Maka or something. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, yeah, it's still his team. I mean, yeah. Darwin to me is, I mean, this might be a post-mortem one, but I, I mean, I am a, a little bit concerned about Darwin's progression as a player <laughs> because, I mean, there are these games where there are just big moments or like, when is he going to take a game by the scruff of its neck and show quality? Like his quality, I feel like shines through in games that don't really matter that much. Or they're like flat track bully games where it's like, Oh yeah, great. Like you did good against a bottom 10 team versus like, when has there been, a, I mean, I guess the Newcastle bench appearance was a good one. Yeah. But, he's won but I mean, like many he's, games. This yeah, year. I, I com- couldn't disagree more. Yeah. But I mean, he's got 11 goals and you know, that's, but I just, I feel like it just watching him, I just, it's like, this is last year, Groundhog Day, where I still get so frustrated by Mm. him in the final third of just like, why do you keep doing the wrong thing? (laughs) It's like, last year you get a pass because you're a kid, you just got here, you don't speak the, I mean, whatever, all the the cliches you can go after. And he's obviously been better this year in general, but I still just watch him. I just, I'm just like, are you going to actually like be, a reliable donger, like kind of, or are you just going to be a piece? Like, are you going to be like Jesus, like a little bit, like someone who's just like right, there, right. he does the things, he runs Third around. Third or fourth kind of a tiger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I think the progression is enough that I'm very, very positive about him, but yeah, I could see where you're coming from. I think that like a lot, I saw a ton of people on discord just like blaming him. Like, and I, I loved just, the sub. I was happy he subbed him. I was. I hated the sub, even though yeah. Gakpo played well. I mean, I just never want to sub him when we need a goal. Um, but I, I mean, for me, it was like, like just rewatching that a uh, bit of that first half. I mean, that was that was the moment where it should have been three 0 Like the second half was kind of crazy. Man United scored some crazy goals, and it was more open, more back and forth, more like the cup game. The first yeah. half though was like. Sobo huge chances, Mo huge chances. And like the end of the game was like a Diaz huge chance, another Mo huge chance. Like those were the ones that were, that are like burned in my mind way more than anything Darwin did personally. But yeah, you know, but like, like this is, and this is going to cherry pick and it's not, it's out of context slightly because of when he plays and when he didn't. But 
He has 11 goals this year in the league. These are the teams he scored against. Newcastle, West Ham, NFO, Burnley, Bournemouth, Burnley again, Brentham, NFO again, Sheffield United. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like Holland. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see where he goes next. But year, also, but... the Newcastle one was when they were good. You know, the NFO one is in the 99th minute match winner off the bench. No, you know, there's context. Yeah. They're you know? good. They're, they're good. Go- you know, he scores yeah. goals. There's 11 goals. It's yeah. a good amount of goals, like somewhat decent for a striker yeah. on the best attack in the league kind of player. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see where yeah. he goes next. And he year. has a fuckload of assists. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah, that's yeah. that's a really good return. Yeah, um, yeah. Assist in, in this game, assist against Man City too. You know, yeah, Take they're it. one less than goal for striker. It's like this. You know. Well, yeah, for FPL points, but I'm just talking. I thought you were more talking from IRL, but yeah, FPL. I mean, he's eleven goals, eleven assists. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's fucking great. Yeah, not even two thousand minutes. Yeah, yeah. He has. He's started like twenty games or something like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I wanted to go back to the defense really quick because Shut Up sure. Luke said, who are the four best defenders in the game currently? Which I thought was kind of an interesting question because one through three are the easiest things in the world. It's Gabrielle White and Saliba. Yeah. And then finding number four is just, I don't know, there's some probably funny like idiom I could say here, just shitting in a barrel or something like that. But that's how it feels to pick to pick a fourth out of the rest of the teams. Yeah. I don't know. Do you, do you? I mean, eat Nori, I guess, because he's playing striker. But that will probably end in two weeks once they get their actual strikers back. I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I still feel okay about City. I mean, I'm zero for one. Take oh take God, the L on the chin, on City. I am. I just feel like the fixtures and with the run in that they're going to be zoned in. Like they have Champions League. Like I feel like they're just going to. I mean, look, our it the might goals be Zinchenko. They, <laughs> <laughs> it might be. The, it's <laughs> an ineligible. Four. Can't get. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 I just feel like you know they had the two goals conceded. They had a third one. I mean, it's still you look at the the the. The first goal was Stones making a diabolical error. Like, individual defenders made an individual error in the game. Like, there were four bad individual errors by Man City defenders throughout the course of the game, and they resulted in two goals. And, you know, if, and that's it. That was literally the only thing that they allowed in the course of the entire game. So, you know, in an away you're game, using or, the same, you're using the argument like you would say. You could say the exact same about Liverpool for the last like month, but you think Liverpool defense is really bad. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, it, do, it suits me in one way, and it doesn't. Okay. Suit me. Okay. No, fine. I I think it's more just, but no, but it, seriously though, it's more the control of the game. Like yeah, Liverpool, yeah. you know, they, they're pressing open. up. Yeah, they play more, and you know, in terms of you know credit banked and. It's City has way more than Liverpool to me in this regard, you know, and, and the fixtures matter too. You know, I mean, I just, I feel like they have a really good run and they don't play any really good attacks. And, um, who do you think wins the league? City, I think City's going to take it now. I think it's City. I think, yeah, of I don't think they're going to three teams. I think they have by far the best chance to win every game. Yeah. That's, and and that's Ars- what I think two, do. If, if Arsenal or Liverpool are going to win it over them, they would also have to win every game because City's yep. only one point behind. And I just don't know if either team can do that. And Arsenal I mean, look, are the Arsenal best team in the have, league. They like, like well, legit are, I think. Yeah, but, I mean, they their fixtures are incomparably the worst of the three. It's, it's not close. So far it's and so, away. So by ev- so many measures, it's the hardest yeah. fixture list on yeah. the, of the of the three. It really and they, is. And they have Champions League. So, yeah, yeah I, I just don't think that they're going to get over the line there. Um, yeah. I, I, it's going to be really interesting. We haven't really seen Arteta rotate that much, except for the recent game, the Luton yeah. game. I really wonder how he's going to deal with, you know, Kai, Saka, White, Odegaard. And that's, yeah. And I mean, that's my concern. That's my concern with them is that where, like, I just don't think they have depth in goals. Like, I, like they yeah. have Tom, Tom's back. You know, they have plenty of defense, like, plenty. Yeah. 
But, you know, I mean, I feel like there's going to be a game where they just, like, can't score a second goal yeah. and they draw. It's like one Trossard one. and Nketiah, yeah. and they're just not clicking. They're relying on winners for goals. Or something. Yeah. yeah. They, I mean, the thing also with, like, like obviously Saka's such a great player, and Martinelli's still pretty good, and Odegaard's great, but they're even they're not that prolific of goal scorers. So even if they're, like, chasing a game, and you're yep. bringing Saka on on 70, I'm not like, oh, he's fucking banging one. But right? that's yeah. not like his style of play. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Totally. I could see that. But yeah, I mean, keeping a clean sheet every game certainly helps. It's a pretty good place to it's, start. It's a pretty good place yeah. to start. Zero, zero, forever. Um, yeah, it's just winning every game compared to... It's so hard. Tr- yeah, it's, 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 it's so hard, hard and you need a lot of luck. I mean, that's just I, straight yeah. up how it is. You need a yeah. pen. You need a fucking thing. You need a red card. Like... Well, and you need you your need offense to pick up your defense, bouncing, or you need your defense yeah. to pick up your offense, and those Any are the kind of things that bounce yeah. can just go against you in soccer and just completely derail. And you. like those are the kind of things where I think with City, another aspect to this compared to Liverpool is like they have, you know, their squad, the core of their squad has been there for years. Liverpool yeah, yeah. has a completely new squad this year. Going into the and season. If you handed me third place for Liverpool, yeah, I was like, that's it. an unbelievable yeah, rebuild year. Holy yeah, shit, yeah. we're back on yeah. track. You know, we're young, new yeah. midfield. Yeah, so it's like, it's crazy to be in this spot at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll see. It's going to be exciting for sure. And then both teams yeah. play Champions League tomorrow. Yeah. And then Liverpool plays Atalanta on Thursday. So it's fucking crazy time. Yeah. Um, we fun did week, get some fun week. We did get some Arsenal questions. Um, Admin said, which Arsenal mid do you think is the best pick? Is it still Saka? It Speaking wasn't Saka Kai. last time we bought it. <laughs> and it's still <laughs> Except not. for pens. Except for pens. <laughs> well, Kai still fucking shat all over his face without pens this week I again. Know. You know, I yeah. mean, no, it's it's definitely Kai by a it's lot. Kai. It's Kai. Yeah, it's definitely Kai. I just, you know, it's it's back to Saka just plays wing. You know, he's just he's a winger on pens and he's good. Um you know, he'll have his purple patches like he had, you know, in the, you know, a month or so ago. And he had, you know, he was rattling off he goals all the time. Yeah. But yeah. he also, you know, I mean, he was, we were talking about his points being fraudulent almost all season, looking, dating back to like game week five, where it's just like yeah. he's falling upwards of just assist on a corner, you know, phantom yeah. assist that he shouldn't have even gotten credit for, <laughs> yeah, you know, a pen <laughs> to keep it going. And, yeah. You know, he's just been so close to being JWP, and instead he's just <laughs> hauling kind of instead thing. Instead he's like, yeah, maybe top scoring mid or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, no, he's clearly carrying something. He's clearly being protected. They have Champions League. It just, he doesn't seem like he's great right now. Meanwhile, Kai is, like you said, I think the that non-pen XG shot chance, whatever the fuck that you said oh, yeah, last yeah. time. Who gets the best I mean, chances on yeah, the team? Who get, basically who gets the best chance on the team and it's obviously Kai I mean you watch the games it's very clearly him getting the biggest chances every yep. game basically yep. and everything kind of funnels towards him and Sokka's yep. not making the you know he's not he's just staying outside so yeah I yeah. think it's Kai and then Voldy and Aurelio sort of similar questions I mean Voldy said do I go double Arsenal D versus double Arsenal attack Kai plus Sokka or, and then Aurelio said I have Saka and Gabriel. Which third Arsenal should be my priority? So for me, it's still double D. I still think it should yeah. be the other center back who will yeah. start every game. And I'm not sure everyone else will start every game. Yeah, I mean, I think Gabriel and White are the two best picks by a lot. I Even defense. White, I'm like, he'll, he'll rest one of these games, I think. Mm, I don't know. He's a monster. He's a machine. But yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's back to the replacement level of who you're getting instead. Yeah. And, you know, the replacement level for defense is a lot lower than a midfielder. Yeah. So, I mean, exactly. that to me drives the answer more than, yeah, you know, sure. do I think, yeah, no I mean, that's the, yeah, like that's the most important piece of the processing for me. Yeah. Why I would want the Arsenal defender, second defender rather than second attacker. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And they, yeah. and they're just cannot be understated how dominant they, they've been this season yeah. defensively. Yeah. So, I expect it to continue. Um, let's go to Spurs real quick. Um, you know, they won 3 1, kind of a, you know, two bangers from the defenders. Uh, Admin said, Do you prefer Sun 
Newcastle away or an Arsenal mid, Villa home. Uh, D said, do you think Sun will be good against Newcastle or does he find Sell to upgrade Richards to Gabrielle? And Jitterbug said, I don't have Sun, but I agree with you guys. He might haul versus Newcastle. Do I buy him for just one week and then bench him next week or is that dumb? Another quiet Sun game. Yeah, I mean, I just can't possibly worry about him. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, by I nature mean, of where he is positionally, like yeah. what they try to do all game, and he's on pens, which they seem to never get. Do they have two pens this year? They have you know, no fucking pens this year. This team. I was, you know, I was thinking about that recently, and do you know why they have no pens? They don't have fucking Kane anymore. Well, that, but also Timo and and BJ, their best swingers by a wide margin. As yeah. soon as they get the ball. They just whip one in near post yeah. or like across across goal. Yeah, they don't dribble anyone. They in the never box. dribble. They never yeah. even cut back to get like a change the angle and, or anything. Yeah, they just Kulu hit it as hard that. and low yeah. across net as, as as possible. Yeah, Kulu like, who does even that shouldn't he just fucking falls down? He's so bad. Or he's yeah, who even won their one? Son won their fucking one pen. Yeah. So like that's exactly what I'm kind of saying. It's like yeah, that they yeah. don't have guys who win pens. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, but unfortunate they still might, son. They still they still might, might get, get one. one. Yeah, yeah. Even that fucking handball. handball. Come on, handball. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Dan, dumb Danny shit. Rose just chipping it onto someone's yeah, hand? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But uh, no, I mean, they have tough fixtures. They have the blank. I just... They also I mean, have a I double. Think, yeah, they have two doubles. I mean, Sun's just gonna right. get they points. A, they have a really... We have, what do you make of a 35 double? Because, you know, on paper, it's a home arsenal away Chelsea. Not the best in the world. And then he they have an easily get 20 double. Po- I mean, he could easily get 20 points in that double. Like, Darb at home, that game. Yeah, Arsenal It's usually defense. crazy, but Arsenal, yeah. you'd imagine, Also going to be coming off down. a little... Yeah, but they're coming off a huge pile up. You know, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just... That game could be anything. Yeah. Chelsea are one of the worst teams in the, the league. Chelsea I mean, looks like a fucking banker. Like, maybe I should yeah. be thinking Triple Cap's son. <laughs> that's what I'm, yeah. I mean, like, I would rather Triple Cap's son than Palmer, you know, for example. But, um, yeah, I think it depends on the rest of your team and the texture of your team. I mean, because if you want son for the double and you have nothing to do right now besides get him in and you can afford to bench him in 34 and, like, the, the timing of it makes sense, I think that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I think it's um, fine. I mean, he's but if, still... Almost scored. I mean, I know like his his underlyings are really bad that game, but like he had that shot at the end that sells barely saved onto the post. You know, that's what he's capable of. That's kind of why we own him. Is like even if he gets two shots, both of bad quality, he can turn one into a banger, and then it's like Paul. I mean, I just don't know what you want to see. Like, do you? Does he need to brace every game for you to have no, him in the I team? Want like more no, shots not you, and better not you. quality. I'm just saying, like yeah, you yeah. in general. It's like he's. We've been watching this player for ten years in the league. He's playing striker. Like, just get him. Like, he's just yeah. a good pick. Yeah. He might blank a couple more times. <laughs> okay, you know. But yeah. like, yeah. where what are we looking at here? You know, he's just a great pick. You know, just get him and and be happy to have him and hope that he gets points in these few games while he's playing out of position. He's still yeah, num- like, I'm not counting Elise who's barely played, but if you just go points per start, I mean, he's still fourth. He's ahead of Saka yeah. and he's only behind Palmer, Mo, and Holland. Yeah, it's pretty good. And what what more do you want? <laughs> you know, he's nailed. He plays yeah. ninety now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. he's great. But who do you prefer, Son, Newcastle, away, or Arsenal, Villa, home? Son, he's by a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's close. I think it's close with Kai. I mean, Villa. Yeah, I, don't, I don't. Villa just concede two to four goals every game. I feel like since like January. I I don't even know if that's exaggerated. I mean. If you well, just they're, they're look- going to have Emmy back. I mean, Mr. Olsen is not quite the yeah, that's true. shot stopper or can't do really much of anything. But they lost Doug Luis. <laughs> true. Counterpoint Doug. Counterpoint Doug, the yeah, best yeah, yeah. midfielder by a wide margin. I mean, they're, if you just sort sort defense by away defenses, Luton are by a mile the worst, by a full expected goal, pretty much the worst. And then it goes Sheffield, Burnley, Newcastle, Villa. So, I mean, that's the. <laughs> 
that's the range that we're in right there. Yeah, they're they're comparable range, Villa and Newcastle. I think that the Champions League game is very I mean, on both ends of this game for Arsenal, very, very loud, where I am yeah, expect yeah. them to really just shut down and try and expend as little energy like as possible. Like they did in the Luton game. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, so what's their I mean, actual schedule? So they play tomorrow. And they have a lot of days off before the Sunday game against Villa, to be fair. But then they play again next week, right? Yeah, I know. But four days off for Villa. And then and then it's a short one to Bayern, I guess. I That's guess it I'm sort saying. of depends on tomorrow also, right? Because yeah, Arsenal are just in the game. better than Bayern. They could just Yeah, they could win, win 4 nil. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... And I also just think in a vacuum, Sun's just better than you know any of the Arsenal mids. So yeah, Newcastle Spurs should be like an insane three, three. high scoring game yeah. by every you know. There's there's really no way that it's not. Um, so yeah, I think yeah it's I probably like Sun. There. Probably yeah. Sun. Probably Sun. Uh, what else do we have today? Do you know who you're, who you're capping? I mean, I'm just pulling this out of a hat. I haven't I haven't even really looked. Yeah, I do, um, baby. Let me cap. try and figure I out. My I got my cap. Oh, it's on order. Kev, right? No. Nope. Who is it? How is it not on Kev? What? Debts are being. Debts will be. Tony? Collected. Oh, yeah. Tony Home Chef you. <laughs> yeah. Walsh. Walsh in. I'm <laughs> starting rested. Reg, so it's just going to be Reg's assist yeah. to Tony three times. Rested. We both profit. Yeah, Dude, I know. Rare rested. rest. Rare rest. He's going to fucking destroy them. And Jitterbug asks, is Kai the best cap this week? <laughs> and he's certainly a cap, but he's a player. Not the best. Yeah, he's a player that plays. And who this starts week. for whoever starts for City is the best cap. They're home loot. I mean, this is yeah. like a Jalv week. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna I don't think you can reasonably captain a city player. Just we have you to wait and see leak. what happens midweek. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you would need a leak in order to do that. I yeah, think. And that's you not gonna come. We're not gonna get a leak it that probably early. Won't. Yeah. Although they they tend to leak more than other teams, I feel like we always yeah. get like early Holland news and shit. I think though, I mean, it will also it depends on who Liverpool play on Thursday. You know who starts because I mean, I think he'll is, go really strong. Yeah, he could. He could also not. I mean, he could. Yeah, sit he might five not. Players, but I, so. I think he'll change like two players and try and win it in the first leg, and that's kind yeah. of. Kind yeah, of if that MO, happens in that sketch. I mean, I think Sun's a very reasonable option, honestly. I think Sun is live. I think someone like a Jalv is live, but risky yeah, but without no one a leak. Has him. Like, I know, you, but would you, you like transfer bring him, him in and get to cap? Sure. I mean, for I the might start. I don't fucking yeah. You cap him for the might starts. Look how that worked for you. <laughs> he fucking sucks though. No, nah, he misses dude. everything. He's due. He's no, due. I don't know. Fuck, man. I cannot he, believe. I mean, watching him play is ridiculous. He misses his everything. point dodging this year yeah. is probably more Mind than blowing. anyone in the league. Yeah, maybe I, Nico. I think, I think actually more than anyone. Right? I mean, mm-hmm. even that last game, I mean, he could have scored like three Who's goals. Who's Nico? And Dot? And Dot. No, he doesn't dodge shit. He's, he's just actually bad. No, Jalv dodges. It's still a dodge. I mean, Dom. I don't think you dodge if you're bad. If you're bad, you're just doing, you're playing your game. You're just playing at your <laughs> yeah, level. Like, Jalv is dodging. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Nico, who might come into my team soon, but we'll get oh. there. <laughs> I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> fucking fuck me. He's never, never coming back in my team. I can't wait. I love him. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, who to- dude, it's, cap. Tony, we'll get, we'll, it's fucking Tony week, baby. I'll, I'll get there on it's Thursday. Maybe I'll bring in Tony week. Tony in bring for Tony Holland. In and ca- bring Tony in and cap him with me. You, We can fly together. Which ball is talking right now? The right one. The good ball or the bad ball? The right one. Like right the direction or correct R-I-G-H-T, one? R I G H T the right one. I don't know if that's the good one or the bad one. This is like that problem of like the doors, <laughs> where like one guard can only say yes and the other guard can only say no or some shit. This is tough to figure out which ball is the correct one or not. And the guard keeps saying maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the guard <laughs> keeps saying might start. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Tony, this is the ultimate repayal, the reprisal from Tony. Oh my god, week. I can't wait for you. I almost yeah. don't want to go there, also because I might ruin the juju no, that you have going thing. right now. Not a thing. That's not okay. a thing. He okay. doesn't know any of this is happening. Well, he might listen to the pod. Frank's probably fucking Yugi Low, like sniffing his ass right now. <laughs> 
Fucking <laughs> Frank. How do you mean? <laughs> you know, is that a good thing or a bad it? thing? I don't know. Maybe. Um, <laughs> other random questions we got. Blue Bottle said, "How? I don't really understand this question now that I'm looking at it again. He said, how many points would you deem realistic to catch on the field if you're staying moderately template and moderately lucking out in the last game week? Say that. I need that one more time. I think I'm I don't there, understand but I'm not it. quite there. I hope you do. He said, how many points would you deem realistic to catch on the field if you're staying moderately template and moderately lucking out in the last game weeks? So he's basically asking, like, if you're not taking extreme risks, like, what's you a reasonable expectation to How much to gain? could you go up? I think I like a lot still, I think, honestly. Well, like let's look at just from the game week standpoint. We're in game week thirty three. There's like some doubles and stuff. I think if you can gain something like six points on the field in a given in, in each game week, that would be an incredible job by you. Yeah. Like if you can consistently do that. Yeah. Um if you're staying fairly template, I mean it means that you'll have to hit on some of the fringe picks, but yeah, I mean, which um, means like two picks or three picks, right? Like, there's not that many fringe picks right now. Yeah, and you just you know you pick a couple doublers. You, you know, but yeah. Maybe... I mean, if you're chalk capping, I mean, it's like because if you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I'm fifty points away from top hundred k or whatever your target is, to say, yeah. like, can I do that if I don't do anything, you know, kind of wild. Right. And I think that, you know, yeah, I think about 50 points is doable if you stay template and don't do anything too yeah. out there. That sounds there. fair. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. And how many places that brings you up depends on what yeah, you're I don't know. So I can't yeah, answer that Yeah, I mean, if part. you're just looking at the sheer numbers, which is, I think, yeah, I think the the question is, I understand where you're coming from, if, if it is not slightly awkwardly worded. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good, good that you got there. Um, you're going to love this question. Miserana said, with Bumo back and booming and a decent run of fixtures, is Regs worth a second chance? And then Beer- Beerly said, Brentford with the three Musketeers, Bumo, Wissa, and Tony, they have really good calendar. They have a really good schedule on paper. No doubles. Is it interesting or stay away? I mean, Tony's Walsh's capping. <laughs> capping com- confidently and very comfortably, Captain and Tony. They play Luton, Fulham, fucking Bournemouth at Newcastle. It's they they like, actually yeah. have the most fucked good schedule I you know, could ever imagine. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Tony hasn't gotten any points in two months, but home Sheffield, future away points. Away Luton, away Everton, which is actually kind of bad. But then home Fulham. Away Bournemouth, home Newcastle. I mean, they're facing yeah. some of the worst defenses in the league. Yeah, I mean, they haven't won a game in a few months. All that means is they're due. Mm, yeah, I do. I yeah. I mean, it it is interesting. It's hard. It's just hard to go there over a doubler, I guess. But yeah, you could is. snip snap. You could you could bench one week. Maybe you bench him in thirty seven or something. Bench him in thirty five for a. Chelsea or Spurs doubler or some shit like that if, you, if you're if you really concerned about that. But yeah, there's definitely points. Every year, there's points to be gained on the field. Everyone goes with the I have to bring in this guy and I have to bring in this other guy. Yeah. And they don't have to. It's the stupidest fucking thing ever. I hate when people say that. And there's plenty of players who out, outscore the have-to guys. But I everyone mean, how just feels many... too much pressure from... I have How many to bring people in Gusto. had to bring in Mo to captain him home chef you? He got yeah. one point. How many people ha- had to bring in Gusto? He has two doubles upcoming. How's oh that been God. going? <laughs> Absolute worst piece of shit in the world. <laughs> it can see three to Man United, I've two been to nine. Saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying yeah. there's there's tons no, of yeah, have yeah, to yeah. get guys. It's it's a and ridiculous concept. Like, that's so where much. I keep coming back around to captaincy, just being the ultimate. Like, don't I like? Don't do what everyone's doing. Like it's such a random shit thing, you know. Mm. Like you're well, talking about season, how many points can been... I gain if I'm chalk? It's like don't cap, just don't captain the most chalk. Then you can gain 150 points. Yeah, yeah. On the field, right. you know. Yeah, I mean? if you yeah, could you have could... the most template team in the world and, and differential cap, and you could go insane. Because the difference between not you, 
you're covering yourself with maybe the guy that everyone's capping because your team's template. So you have the best guy. You have Holland yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Your downside is so much lower than your up, like, up, you know, like how much you can go down versus how much you can go up. It's, it's, it's like this. I wonder, like, what, one of those, you know? yeah, one of those. I wonder what percent this season of cap, like, a successful or unsuccessful cap is just pens. Like yeah. how many times has just said like, Saka's just got a pen and Palmer just got a pen and Mo just got a pen and Holland yeah. got a pen. Insert five more guys. Yeah. And it's just like, oh wow, great cap this week. Yeah. That's that's the takeaway. When the real yeah. takeaway is just like you got so fucking lucky they got a pen. Because yeah. it's completely random. Yeah, yeah no, that's part it. of it. That's part it, of it. Man. That's part of you it. You have to get this guy. That we how many times we hear that every live stream we do our live stream every week before the deadline, everyone's just like, Holland and oh blah, 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 well, blah, I can't like, get rid of him because he doubles, and I have to get him because they yeah. double, and then we're just we're our advice is just like, all right, well, just do do that then because <laughs> what do you <laughs> even you, want our opinion for? <laughs> if you have to, then we're not. We don't have to. Have yeah, a I didn't realize there's a fucking gun yeah. to your head right now. <laughs> so I, I feel him. like when I was the first few years of playing FPL, like I had such a higher subscription to that notion of just, you know, there are these players that everyone has or these picks that are, you know, so obvious and this fixture that's so good. And, you know, I'd take a minus eight or something to get the guy in and like that shit doesn't really usually work. Yeah, but you you used to fucking finish top, 20k every year yeah but no one played back then now and everyone now everyone's playing and i'm yeah, fucking you're you're the, not I'm giving in, yourself enough credit for a, a 4k whatever. 16k 16k whatever. 23k it, it 25k doesn't matter, but you know what i'm talking about like i feel like the, those i that idea of just like yeah being on rails with what the you know hive says that is correct or optimal or whatever yeah. well before we're getting the algorithm existed. we're getting really post more to me which i i love i mean i think this is like the most interesting shit to talk about to be honest but i also still think we've talked about this at some point i don't remember when it was but back then we also there weren't all these pods and and twitter accounts and we didn't have a discord and all this shit we didn't know what other people were doing really like you might you were talking on that ffs forum so you knew a couple guys and we talked together and there was, yeah. Twitter still existed. I knew a couple guys, but we it didn't feel as bad to chalk the, to cap the chalk because we legitimately did not know who the chalk was. Yeah, and I mean, that I was, made us better at the game. No, but I mean, maybe we we had different experiences back then because I was much more involved in FFS. Yeah, I was. Like, I was. Re- I read every article. I, hated those guys. I talked on the forum with everybody. Yeah. Like yeah. I was very involved for a few years, so I was really like I was more plugged in then to the community than I was. Yeah, since than you are We now. started potting. Yeah, you know? well, yeah. I guess so, we had reverse. Reverse. Yeah, we, uh, we were reversals. ships passing in the night on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Jitterbug said, would you buy Holland now or is it a complete stay away because of the Madrid games either side of Luton? And then Hardly Boys added, would it be an insane move or 5 million IQ move to drop Holland for Jal, the head of Luton Knights, given the perceived minutes risk of being sandwiched between the Madrid UCL matches? What about for another forward who also doubles in 34? Exactly what we're talking about. I don't know. What did they do last year? I I think (sighs) Holland did get dropped for a game or two. Right when I when know. I was hauling I jowl points, I, I mean, can't be fucked to do that research. That's all. Um, I mean, I'm doing it right now. It takes two seconds, but uh, that's all you can like base it on. <laughs> I can't be fucked. So dramatic. <laughs> it's the fucking easiest thing ever. I pull up the match log. <laughs> I can't fucking be bothered with that shit. <laughs> it's like okay, relax, dude. <laughs> Get a fucking life hardly, boys. Eat shit. All right. So, so what is the answer that you fucking so let's see. Quarter Quarterfinals. In between the Bayern games, they had home Leicester. Holland started, braced, and got subbed at half. Pretty good. <laughs> and then in between the Madrid game, in the semifinal, they had Everton away. Holland started, got a goal, played 77 minutes. Not looking good for that. So that he, he wants he wants rhythm merchanting there. Yeah, it seems like it. He did yeah. not start 
away Chelsea or sorry, home Chelsea after the Madrid game, but I think the league was won then. So I think that yeah. doesn't count. So basically okay. he just kept starting every game. Okay. So mm, probably Gadam that and, seems like and or get him and or keep him. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's not showing me a game where he just wasn't in the squad. That might be happening. Um, but you would have to, you would need a leak, man. But getting rid of him, I don't think it's like that bad. I mean, he doesn't double in 35 and 34. Who do they have? They're away Brighton, not a great fixture. You could safely bring him back after later. I think it's it's fine. I think it's a fine time to get rid of him, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't have him. It's fucking feels fine to me. Feels he's very fine to you. Yeah. I mean, he's like maybe he'll get a return a game ish is what he's been doing, and he costs yeah. a fucking billion dollars. So, yeah. Go it's for so, it. I mean, that I shout out to sides on our in our Discord because. His description of Holland's performance against Palace, I think, was spot on. He just said, it does what it says it'll do on the box. And that's exactly what his performance was. It was just like, I think his first three like noticeable touches were like, have a big chance, saved. He had a one-on-one. Create a big chance for Jalv, if that even exists. And Jalv missed, obviously. And then score. It was yeah. just like, yeah, that's yep. that's the guy. That's what he does. Yep. yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Okay. Psycho said, is it Chris Wood time? Speaking of a good striker. I mean, he keeps doing these I got somehow. I owe an apology to Chris Wood because... Yeah, I mean, we've been dead and burying him for a long while. I Yeah, I mean, two, three years ago, I was... He's washed. He's done. He can't run. He doesn't get shots. Like, because he was legitimately fucking really good. When Burnley were good. Yeah. And then he just fell off the face of a planet. He was terrible for Burnley when they got relegated. He was terrible for Newcastle. I thought he was terrible last year on the loan. I was like, every time he played, I was like, they should not keep him. I mean, it's fucking April. And if I, if I pose to you, you know, who has more goals in April at any date of April, Chris Wood or Darwin Nunez? Dude. He has more goals than Wood. most players in the league. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's just chilling, fucking big time chilling. He has the same number of non pen goals as Mo. Yeah. And Easy he has for one Chris more Wood. than Isak, one more than Darwin. He's just a, f- a festival. If he had pens, yeah, I mean, he'd they, be on like 15, 16 goals, probably. They don't double. They do have good fixtures. It's just, it's, it's a tough one to put him in, and yeah, it's also I, you. Yeah. You don't feel like there's a sustainability factor there because it's fucking Chris Wood. So and it's NFL, and it's yeah, Nuno and they don't, coaching NFL. Yeah. yeah, and they suck. So yeah, I think but it's like, like you, it's a nice thing. It's haha funny in that yeah. kind of way, but it's also not. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in my team. But like, yeah, I mean, you look at home wolves this week. I'm like, yeah, he'll probably fucking score. <laughs> you know, I mean, that that's how he's playing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, well, let's see. We got like five more questions here. Palm said, is Petrovic on thin ice in Chelsea? Is it better like to swerve him and get someone like Vicario with the two doubles? Well, you should look at Walsh's He's wild just, card team. Fucking pandering to me or some bullshit. I with think this question. Is. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> Chelsea are just such a joke. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Is Bob no. Monster, is he, was he on the bench? Is he back on the bench? I on think the bench? he was on the bench. Or, or he was in uh, he's training. It was one, or, it was okay. one or the other. I, I couldn't remember. Petrovic is not good. He's, he's not, not good. He's, he's never he's been not, good. He's never will be good. I mean, look Full, at his game. Fully believe that. 2 1 2 0 2 2 3 1 3 10 2 3. It's like, what the fuck? He's like the worst keeper in the league. Advanced stats have him as one of the worst keepers in the league. Yeah, yeah he looks it as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he passes that. The, yeah, some of the goals he can see are just uh, unbelievably bad. Per ninety, which is probably how you should do it, because you know some of these keepers, like Petra, has only played fourteen games. Per ninety, most underperforming keeper in the league. He's worse than Matt Turner. Yeah, that's, that's not all you company. need. That's kind of all you need. That's not company you want to keep. Not company you want to keep. Yeah. But he's only 24, you know, but nah. yeah, still, 
Yeah, still like Vicario a lot for the the yeah. doubles. Vic is yeah. good. Um, yep. X fifty said with Walker and Ake out, what do we think of Rico Lewis as a pick? I like it a lot. Really? I'm very yeah, I'm very much looking at him for. I mean, Gvard, we don't know if he's fit, right? He's not fit. I think. Yeah. I think Pep said he's like a doubt for the Champions League game, which yeah, might mean yeah, he's fine yeah. for the next league game. I don't know, but yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, dude, they have nobody else. Like they have no players. Yeah. So the back four, if Gvard is out, has to be a Kanji, Ruban, Stones, and Rico. Kanji yeah. playing left back, right? It just yeah. has to be. Probably. Those are the only fit players. So, you know, he's four two. He pops up in really good areas. He scored his goal. He's a this really, week. really good player. But, he's really good. You know, they're they're not a great defense. He's maybe nailed for one game and then he's back on the bench. I don't know. Not I guess it depends on guards. I mean, how fit th- or unfit is he? I, I assume he'll be on the bench tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would put some cold water on it. But it also, I mean, they're really imbalanced and, like, deficient when they play a kanji at right back and Guardiola at left back. Yeah. I mean, that's the four center back, back four situation. Yeah, they're and a I fucking don't, mess all over the yeah, place. Like, yeah, like, I don't know enough about tactics to know, like, when that's actually good for them or bad. <laughs> like, I'm sure there yeah. are really logical explanations of, like, yeah, this yeah. Op- op- opponent doing this or that or whatever. But, you know, just in general, like, he's like to have, like, Walker playing on the right who gets forward at least, like, can threaten that or... You know, when Guardiola plays on the left, he gets like, but like, I feel like Rico Lewis, like, they, dude, I mean, he's fucking fresh. He's barely played. Yeah. Like, I feel like he could start every game for the rest of the year. Like, yeah. he's good enough to me. Yeah. And I know he's young, but he's, you know, again, I just think he's good enough and he offers something that no one else does in, in the defense while Walker's out. So yeah. I do like the pick. He's 4 it's certainly, it's certainly And when he doesn't a punt play, that he could, could pay off. Yeah. And when he doesn't play, you know, it's, just play zero minutes you know that works yeah yeah you know he doesn't come in and that's you're not going to get too hurt you know i mean that's yeah. also a, a gamble a, that i'm happy to, to yeah to it's play a positive with. Yeah. yeah yeah something there um yeah. brian said who are your top five doublers for game week 34 we haven't really talked that much about the double game week i guess yeah, I mean, there's just so many guys. It's just the thing that I was looking at though is just like the amount of rest that every team has is just ridiculously low. Yeah, um, there's like two days off between all the games. Yeah, the only yeah. there's I'm looking right now. There's two teams that have more than two days off, and they only have three days off, and that's Chef U have three days off between Burnley, Man United, Dude. and Wolves have three days off between Arsenal, Bournemouth. Yeah. Every other team's two days off in their double. But also, there's also games either side of this. Right? So, like, right. you can say it's bad. You know, Liverpool have two days off between away, Fulham away, Everton. It's brutal. But they have two days off between At- Atlanta away and Fulham. And then they have yep. two days off between Everton and West Ham the next game yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. So, like, maybe the play, amount of play fucking... Some defenders, maybe. Yeah, center backs. Like, yeah. I feel like... No one on any of these teams, except for maybe center backs and keepers, is actually like nailed for this double, yeah. which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the classic of enormous double. Oh my God, I'm bench boosting with 15 <laughs> doublers and luck. you have seven doublers. And you're like, yeah. oh, whoa. Yeah. Like, oh my God. I mean, this is, if you're bench boosting <laughs> in 34, you're celebrating someone subbing on for 20 minutes because it's a plus yeah. one. Yep. And your your upside seems like 120 yeah. minutes for like half your team. Yeah, and I think with the days off and the Champions League, it's just not reasonable to really talk about it now because it's going to be so many minutes managed and until we need to then. look at it. Yeah, until then. We need to be yeah, looking I mean, at Arsenal it a lot closer. Yeah, the same, right? They have home villa, yeah. two days off Bayern, Two days off Wolves, two days off Chelsea. That's their double Wolves Chelsea. And then they have four days off for Spurs. So, okay, like, great. They're going to start their starters in the Spurs game. That's the only guarantee. <laughs> like, that's literally the only one of those that's like a fucking guarantee first strongest 11, um, you yeah. know, other than maybe Bayern. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's an impossible answer. Yeah. yeah. 
which kind of makes me want a free hit because I'm like, well, at least I'll have the most info and be able to get everyone that I want. But I don't know, might 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 not make a difference. Yeah. Last question was Walshy, the cuz. He said, I'm on free hit 34. I don't want to waste a free transfer. Who are a few non-template roguish guys for 35 through 38 that I can transfer in for 33 and not care about 33 and 34 fixtures? So, yeah, just someone for 35 through 38. I mean, that's got to be a Spurs guy, right? Because they're double, they double. double. They have two doubles in that stretch. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Spurs yeah. guy. I mean, obviously Palmer stays. Yeah. And Palmer also has, you know, after their double their home West Ham, at NFO, home Bournemouth. Yeah, but who's who else on Chelsea do you want? Even though they have that, 20 fixtures in the Yeah, that's why days. I'm a, like, I'm honestly a little no Nico one. curious. I think he's good. Oh god. Yeah, I, I can't. Do. Yeah, I can't. I can't with that. Um, even he needs more minutes against the field than this is than than what is on offer for me to pick him over other actual players who are good at football. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine with that. But okay. who else? I mean, you I think just, that, yeah. yeah, Spurs. I think Spurs is the Spurs is the yeah. obvious one. I mean, Newcastle have a ridiculously good end to the season. You know, like yeah. Isak, Gordon. They're going to yeah. have a double in 37. I, I think also just like you got to remember that the title contenders are still probably going to be in a title race, whether it's all three of them in the race, just two of them in the race, there's going to be a race. Yeah. And so those teams in the, in the stretch are going to be probably winning every game. Um, so yeah. I don't think it's like, you don't want to like get rid of all these guys who are like probably going to win every game because they tend to be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. I don't yeah. know. All right, oh. we have we have Thursday pod to figure out our teams and our caps and all that all that fun shit that yeah. we do. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even thought about transfers until like no, we need I to have, see the. I there's too yet. many too many games to be played this week. Yeah, so. what are I mean? So it's Arsenal and City both play tomorrow. Villa, West Ham play. West Ham, Liverpool, Villa all play on Thursday. Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, we lot. need there's a lot so, of shit. so much yeah. shit to go. Yeah, so much. And injuries yeah. and all this shit. So we'll figure yeah. it out. Maybe Matt will not punch someone in the stomach and maybe you know, you never know what'll happen next. But um I right, dude, no new sign ups. I think that's a pause. Is there anything we forgot to talk about? I don't know. Uh, no, I think we're good. Mets are back. Mets are back. You know that one other good. one other little shower thought I had for you. Yeah, what do you NFO. Got? They're the three yeah. three capital letter teams. They're NFO. They have MGW. They have Cho. Yeah, they just need to fill their roster with like ESR double barrel. Yeah, BBD. double barreled every double barrel they yeah. can find. AMN. Yeah, every guy. Good. I love that. I love that yeah. for them. All right, dude. Any last words? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Check us out at fmlfield.com. Follow us on Twitter at fmlfield. Sports media.com slash fmlfield. Subscribe. Big, big, juice.